Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna answer a simple question. Should you use Tuxedo OS for gaming and content creation if you don't own a Tuxedo computer? Yeah, I know it, it sounds really weird but that's the video for today so if you're curious and want to know more about Tuxedo, Tuxedo OS and how it compares in terms of like gaming performance and content creation versus all the other distro I tried in this channel, well, uh, you, you are on the right video. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. What really triggered the test of this distribution, because I was not planning to test it at all, is the fact that I made a React video toward another video from another uh, YouTube YouTuber uh, on Linux. And I'm gonna put the link of this React video uh, in the description below, just for you to have a little bit more context of you know, what triggers this review. But long story short, I tried it because my goal was really to see on my machine if I would have the same result that the other YouTuber. And I made a stream, I think it was a three hour stream. I'm also gonna put the link in the description below, like that, you're going to see the methodology for me to try and bench this distro versus another like gaming distro, because I don't believe like this distro is marketed as gamer distro, even if he has like some, I would say like tweak, which for me uh, will put this distro in, in a case of like gaming distro. But this is another like point we're going to touch base on later. But this is why I, I wanted to test this distro. When you look at what really this distro is destined to, this distro is made by a company called Tuxedo, which sell computer compatible with Linux out of the box. So I don't want to spend too much time toward uh, the company itself or toward the product or their pricing. Like this is not the goal of this video. The video is more around like, we're going to take the distro, we're going to test it, we're going to benchmark it, and we're going to see exactly what this distribution has in the stomach. If you look at the distro itself, it's based on a Ubuntu LTS. So you're not going to go into something crazy. And th the first like comparison I will do will be uh, this distro being the equivalent of what PopOS is, for System76, in case, you know, you never heard about Tuxedo and any of that, because I think it's more like a, a European base uh, type of corporation. So yeah, that, that's, this is what you will do. And, and because we are going in that direction in terms of like, you know, what type of distro it is, it's also a distro based on Ubuntu LTS. This one is based on Ubuntu Jami. Important, you will see for the rest of the video, like those points are, are kind of important. So we're going to start with the positive. When you come to the distro itself, uh, the, the install process was pretty straight to the point. I like the idea of like choosing what type of uh, display manager you're going to use because this is what kind of like surprised me. The distro uh, installer is really different and it was a, a pretty fun process. To be fair, I don't really know why we are going through this selection of like display manager out of the box, but I'm okay with it. I think it's fun. It's nice, a nice differentiation point. And the distro went uh, really smoothly. Uh, something I need to add also on top of that is the fact that the NVIDIA driver were available and I had no issue uh, installing the distro. So, so this is, this is definitely a good point. We went through over distro, which makes the install process sometimes a little bit more complicated. Uh, this is pretty smooth. The second point I want to mention is related to the theming. Theming is clean, nice. You can see that the dev, they spend some time on the theme. And to my taste, it's not bad at all. Uh, it's, it's a mix between, you know, like professional and uh, I would say uh, not gaming, but like it's, it's, it's a good film, at least to my taste. I think everybody is going to find uh, something in those film. It's not really like extravagant or, or you're in a situation where you love it or hate it. I think they, they did a good job on that. 
The third point is related to the fact that this distro is really tailored to the Tuxedo hardware. So if you go in the menu, you're going to find like application you will never find in any other distro. And I think this is pretty cool if you own a, a, a Tuxedo computer because it will give you a better experience uh, for, you know, taking advantage of your hardware uh, than any other distro. And I think this is really, really nice. If you have a Tuxedo computer, this is definitely be a plus for you to use this distro if you want to have those uh, nice little application which is going to be working on your computer. Because as you understand, on my computer, which is not a Tuxedo, they were not working at 100%. Some of the sensors were not popping up, etc., etc. But I see, I see where they are going with this, and I think it's cool. The last point in terms of positive is the fact that it's Ubuntu LTS, but there is no snap. Okay, so I know, I know some of you in the back are going to be like, hey, I love snap, it's working perfectly. That's cool. But from my experience, and this is what I'm sharing on this channel, uh, the snap experience when running Ubuntu has not been great, especially when it comes to gaming. So there is no snap in this one. It's cool. Maybe if you want to install them, you will be able to install them. But out of the box, nobody forced snap into your throat. Hein, canonical? <laughs> now we cover the positive. Let's talk about the negative. And, and, and the list is, I would say, like uh, solid. So, so the first one I want to mention is the fact that this system is based on the Ubuntu LTS. And what it really means, it means that some of the packages are going to be really, really old. And in this type of distro, which is really tailored, sometimes you're going to be surprised by how good, for example, like uh, some of the applications are, and also because they are tailored, right? Like they, you can see that the dev team from Tuxedo, they're going to put a certain like uh, emphasis on application, like I mentioned before, like uh, uh, the monitoring aspect of it, which is really nice. But on the other hand, because you are on LTS, some applications are going to be really, really hard. And the first one that came to mind was OBS. The OBS is like a really old version of OBS. So I know some of you are going to be, yeah, it's, it's okay. But from a content creation standpoint, you want to make sure you have the latest version to just have the latest feature and also get, uh, you know, a compatibility with some of the plugin because the plugin, most of the time, they will be compatible, the latest version of the plugin without all the bug and etc etc they will be compatible with the latest version of obs so here uh, this is just an example but the only alternative you're gonna have through that is gonna be obviously the ubuntu uh, ppa which could be something to do uh i'm open with it or flat pack again this is your choice it's good you have the opportunity to do it but you need to be aware of it that Sometimes adding flat pack could, could add another level of complexity in the middle of all of this. But to me, it's kind of like a, uh, you know, mess situation. Now let's talk about gaming. So when it comes to gaming, this uh, distro is, is kind of like a, uh, like a really hybrid uh, Frankenstein type, type of thing. Let me explain. They use a 6.5 kernel. 6.5 kernel is not even the... It's not even an LTS kernel, if I remember correctly, or maybe I'm saying something wrong, like let me know in the comment below, but if I remember correctly, we had 6.1 and then 6.6, .6, but they have a 6.5. So my belief and everything is available out there. I, I think they have a GitLab, they have, you can look at all the parameters they're playing with, with the kernel. But from my testing, from an exterior point of view, just like benchmarking game, what I can tell is like this kernel is opti. Okay, you want to say like, what do you mean Opti? I think they put optimization in it, uh, even if it's a 6.5 and it's not the, the latest one. As I'm recording this video, the latest one of the kernel, it's 6.9 and 6.10 RC kernel are actually going on. So we are like, like a lot of iteration behind, but somehow I can tell that the performance is here and they add some tweak in it to have really good performance. So if I compare 
this distro in terms of gaming versus a full gaming distro like Cache OS, because that's the one I use in, in this uh, benchmark, you will be under in terms of performance. Not by a lot, but you will be under. And especially in uh, uh, the, the minimum, like the FPS mean, I noticed that the perf was not there. So to give you an idea, in Counter-Strike 2, in the benchmark I've been using lately, you will be around like uh, 12% under what you would get uh, with an optimized uh, distro. Uh, when you come to Cyberpunk on the FPS Mini, you will be 8% under. And Shadow of the Tomb Raider was actually working very well. Uh, it was only like 3% under, which is kind of like a margin of error at this level for the FPS mean, but, but I was comparing it to a gaming distro, okay, like full gaming, full optimized distro, like Kashi gave me the, the best results those days, uh, outside of me grabbing an arch and doing it myself. But what is interesting is that if you compare those results toward, for example, like the Fedora 40 I tried like three weeks ago or, or like one month ago, you will see that uh, a Fedora will be will be not as good as Tuxedo, right out of the box. So Fedora obviously is not a gaming distro at all, and they use a, a solid kernel, right? But I don't think it's really optimized toward like full gaming. I know some of you guys are gonna jump and be like, oh no, but you know you, you did something wrong on your Fedora, blah blah blah. Like I know Fedora can be optimized and it's, it's a great distro, but what I'm saying is like out of the box, if you use the stock kernel and you touch nothing out of Fedora, your FPS mean they are not going to be great. That's what I'm trying to explain, right? If you use Fedora and you put, let's say, a game mode while you launch the game, this is going to go away, right? If you use Fedora and you change the kernel, this is going to go away, right? Optimize kernel for gaming, you're going to have better perf. But if you use a Fedora stock, you're going to be under a Tuxedo stock. Okay, so my point here is just to show you that there is different um, level of like optimization. And I can tell like Tuxedo, they are playing with something within their kernel. So you're going to tell me, Max, like if, if, if it's not that bad, why, why you put it in negative? Well, I put it in negative because it's not as good as a gaming distro. Okay, but it's better than a base distro. So it's still negative to me. So another issue I had with this distro is like one of the game was not running properly. And I really thought it was my fault. I thought I had an issue with Proton. I, I, I really thought it was something that I did on my hand. For example, issue related to library dependency, like something was wrong. And it was a user error. But guess what? It was not. I tried to fix it. I couldn't fix it. Maybe you guys have a fix, but for Overwatch 2 on my machine, I couldn't get more than 40 FPS. It was stuck there. I have no idea why. So uh, with the same settings on over distro, I will have around like 600 FPS. So the maximum is 600 FPS. I just top it out with exactly the same settings. So I, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, today, I was testing another distro. I'm going to make the review uh, in the coming uh, days of this distro. And I had the same issue. So it's not related only on Tuxedo. There is some tweak that are not being done on the distro itself. I couldn't figure it out what it was. It was not Proton. It was not the library. It's something else. But over distro, it will work perfectly. Arch, uh, uh, Debian, whatever, like most of them. It's just the, the two distro right now I'm really struggling with. And I will mention the name of the distro in, in another review. But yes, so here, problem, okay? Uh, same with Fedora. I remember Fedora, I could not launch uh, Valheim save. It has been documented on ProtonDB on Fedora 40. I don't know why, it just couldn't launch. Here, same thing, FPS locked at 40 which is uh, kind of a negative there. All right, so how do I conclude this video? So this video is kind of like a, a mixed feeling bag, okay? Mixed feeling bag because maybe you just discovered what Tuxedo OS is. Uh, before doing this React video, I, I, I thought about it, but I never thought I will install it on my PC. 
And this is the main topic that I kind of like talk about through the video, but really never conclude on, is the fact that this distro is tailored in a way that it's better to use on a Tuxedo hardware. So I don't believe that Tuxedo are actually like building their own CPU and GPU, which is what really interests us uh, when it comes to gaming and content creation. So this review is still relevant, but it's relevant just to a certain point. Okay. And the point being like, I don't own a, a Tuxedo hardware. And so, you know, saying that this distro wouldn't be good on a Tuxedo hardware wouldn't be fair to the work of, of, of this company. However, what I can tell right away is that Tuxedo OS will work on other hardware, but you wouldn't have the opportunity to really take advantage of it. And that's the reason why I would not recommend this distro if you don't own a Tuxedo uh, computer. So yeah, it was obvious from the get-go, but those tests gave us the actual, um, I would say like result, like tangible result that, you know, some of the apps, they were not working because they didn't have the specific uh, hardware. Uh, some, some, like a lot of things that are not going through because of it. Now, are we going with uh, Tuxedo for gaming? No. Are we going for Tuxedo for content creation? No. And I explained in the video why, obviously, I think it's, it's a good, nice distro if you, if you own the, the hardware. Simple as that. Guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different, I have to say. Uh, but I kind of enjoy creating this type of content because, you know, it's, it's kind of like a curious type of, of distribution here. And now I know more about uh, what they are doing and uh, what the experience would be if I had uh, one, one of their PC. That's it, that's all. Guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment under uh, for the YouTube algorithm to, to do his thing. And uh, yeah, that's all. That's all for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.